From Fox 8, this is Breaking News. We'll take a look. This is new video at this hour showing a huge branch just falling off a tree in Jackson Square on June 27. That is one week before another piece of that tree came crashing down, critically injuring a 16-year-old boy. Good afternoon. I'm Liz Reyes. And I'm Ram Hassan. We begin with breaking news this afternoon. The attorney for the boy and his family say he's filing a lawsuit next week. Meg Gatto joining us now with more on this story. Meg. Well, attorney Morris Bart is representing the family from San Antonio. He says their focus now is on the recovery of their child. And we've received new video today showing a portion of the tree falling one week before the accident that injured the teenager. Just after 930 on the morning of June 27th, a huge branch on an 85 year old oak tree fell into Jackson Square. A man just narrowly missed being hit. This video, which we obtained from a public camera, was taken just 10 days before a massive portion of that same tree crashed onto a now 17 year old. Bart says the city should have roped off an area around the tree after this branch came down. The boy is currently in the ICU. This surveillance video that we obtained last night shows the ambulance that showed up on the scene about 17 minutes after the accident. It took the teenager to the hospital. Bart says the family is asking for privacy and he can't say much more other than the boy has severe brain damage. Sir, my concern is that on June 27th, it was very obvious this tree is in distress. There was visible damage to the tree. Anybody, you don't have to be an arborist, anybody could see decay and rot inside that tree. In addition to the fact that the tree is unstable, given those conditions and given that with decay and rot, with the unstable nature of the tree, the unbalancing of the tree, there's an immediate threat that the other branch is going to fall, that it's unconscionable to me that they wouldn't rope off that area. Now, Morris Bart says he actually has drone footage taken last year of the tree that shows part of it appears dead. And that's part of the reason why he says negligence led to this accident. The lawsuit, which will be filed next week, will name the city as a defendant. And Bart says there could be other defendants, other people he feels should have been held responsible for maintaining the tree to make sure something like this didn't happen. And it's just heartbreaking. Here they yeah. are on a vacation and he brain injury. This is significant. This is a significant injury. And Morris Bart tells us that the family was actually here celebrating this boy's 17th birthday. So he was 16 at the time of the accident. He actually celebrated his 17th birthday in the hospital after this happened. But it sounds like he has a long road to recovery. Morris Bart didn't really want to get into a lot of the details about what he's dealing with right now, but a severe traumatic uh, brain injury at this point. And make that tree falling could be a key piece of evidence if this yeah. goes to trial. Is, is Bart saying anything about that? And what are, does he think are his prospects of getting payment from the city when they're so notoriously slow about paying these judgments? Yeah, Rob, that's something he touched on. You know, Arlie Zurich has reported on this extensively about judgments that the city, uh, you know, is, is supposed to be paying to people, but has been very slow in issuing those judgments over the years. And more smart said, we acknowledge that could be an issue that we are going to face, but they're going to, you know, explore some legal, legal avenues to try to make the city pay up if they are, in fact, victorious, which he believes they will be. Thank you, Meg. Mm -hmm. Look forward to